All throughout high school and middle school, I was a three-sport athlete. My senior year, I was actually a four-sport athlete, so I did track, baseball, football, and wrestling. So I was pretty busy, but I guess I've always kind of stuck with wrestling a little bit more. But and outside of, outside of school and, and athletics, I hunt, I fish all the time. So, oh man, La Hera, it's no one really knows where it's at, but it's like 20 minutes south of Alamosa. So I just tell people it's Alamosa, but La Hera. Um, it's super small. It's the best. It has all of everything you need, though. It's family dollar, a couple gas stations. Just got a subway. It's getting moving up in the world. Um, but coming to Grand Junction, it was this is a city to me. They got a mall. They got all kinds of cool stuff. So it was awesome coming to a bigger city, although it's not technically a city, but it's a city to me. And I fall in love with the small town city vibe that Junction gives off. So. Uh, when I went on all my recruiting trips, uh, I went to so most of the other schools in the RMAC, and just coming to Mesa and touring around the the facilities, it's, it was top notch. And when you Look at a school that you want to pursue your athletic career at. You want a school that can offer you the best. Um, and I know facilities aren't everything, but you do. You want to compete in a wonderful gym. You want to have the nicest weight room so you could get the best, be the best. And I feel like this school definitely fit with how I wanted and what, what I wanted for my future school. So the facilities and everyone that I met here was just super friendly and really felt welcome on my, on my visit here. The beauty of being here at college, you get to study your butt off and then go work hard every day. So uh, balance is hard and I feel like that's the hardest part for most athletes, but I feel like that's something that I was lucky and fortunate enough to understand early on. I have a balance between my social life, my athletic life, and my studies. Um, I also work two other jobs, one on campus and one off campus, so pretty busy, but I feel like if you have balance in everything, that life goes pretty smooth no matter what. I am an exercise science major with a minor in biology. Um, I love uh, exercise, I love the physiology behind all of it, and I feel like that really kind of meshed well with my... Uh, my lifestyle and everything that I do. So I feel like it was a great area for me to study and learn more about. I was involved in a structure research project that we measured the substrate utilization between genders at different intensities. So it basically what fuel you're using when you exercise and if males or females use anything different, fats or carbohydrates. And after that, it was about a semester long research project. I was able to present it in front of the Rocky Mountain uh, College of Sports Medicine, and I was selected as a finalist for that. So I got to present in front of a lot of other professors, and it was a super great opportunity. I've had three internships, uh, two here and one back home for physical therapy. So I've had been in an orthopedic outpatient area and a pediatric uh, clinic for special needs kids with physical and mental disabilities. And I've also uh, shadowed at the hospital back home. Campus. I'm a tutor here on campus, but a lot of that time I actually just have time to do homework. So it's really lucky for me. I get a time. I get time to do homework and I get paid for it. But outside of that, I have set a part time that I just have to study and get get what I need to done so that when we travel, when I practice other stuff, it's not conflicting with with my studies. I've learned my first year here. I I got more B's my first year, my first semester than I have the last four years. So I definitely have kind of learned how to study and learned how to how to be a student. But in the wrestling room. I come in, I warm up, and, and I work hard, and I really hope others see that, see that I just do the right things that I need to on and off the mat. Uh, my life outside of, outside of the school and practice is, is huge, and I feel that if I'm doing the right things there, I can do the right things in the room, and that, that has benefited me so I'll be able to do the right things and be the competitor that I have been, and I hope others see that. Well, about this time last year, early, early, late January, and I came back and wrestled at regionals. It was the end of February, and I wrestled number one kid in the country just to qualify. If I lost, I would have stayed home. If I beat him, I qualify, go to nationals, and I did. And me and him have always had a rivalry, and we've gone back and forth. So it was very validating to me to see that I could still be hurt most of my year and still come back and compete at a high level and be able to beat someone who is a three-time returning All-American to just punch my ticket to, to be at the big dance. NCAAs is, is a fun time. You're in an awesome venue full of other stud athletes. Um, it's, a, it's really humbling to be there, but it's also more validating walk away with All-American, which I have not yet, but that's the goal here soon. But for my team, I think that it shows that we can produce um, national qualifying athletes, that our program here is just as good as any other program in the country. We'd be there, we can, we can make uh, All-Americans come out of there. So I think it just goes to show that we have a, a team that is just as good as the rest of them. Uh, 
Uh, in my own life, just recently, it changes all the time, but it went from being my dad when I was younger to see the work ethic that he's had, and into, into my wife now, see the, the hard work that she does for her schooling and see how it set her up for her future, and just seeing that two very big inspirations in my life can, can help me and inspire me to, to be the best I can be. Freshman year is hard, um, it's especially if you're coming away from home, you're moving somewhere new. Um, it's tough, but it could be the best growing experience of your life. And taking care of your academics that first semester, that first year, is the most important thing you can do. Uh, like I said, those first year was one of my hardest in academics, and I probably took the easiest classes. But learning how to transition from high school to college is huge. Learning how to study, learning how to be a student. And the athletics will, will follow. If you put hard in the classroom, your, your work will show in the room, and you'll be able to be a better athlete. Uh, after, after I leave here and graduate in May, that I'll have a future somewhere because of my, athletic, my academics here. Um, I have performed well enough in the classroom so that I can have a job outside of this and have a career once I leave wrestling. Right now, I'm currently applying to physical therapy schools, so hopefully getting my doctor of physical therapy here soon, um, the next year or the, the year after that. Um, other than that, I don't really know. I would love to coach, but they start paying bigger bills, and then maybe I'll, I'll do that. But for right now, uh, probably somewhere in the medical field. So much. Mesa has had such a big impact on my life, and I'm super grateful that I've been here and had this opportunity to come to school here. But what I've learned is the, the athletic community here at Mesa is so tight-knit that I have friends on every single athletic team and so many people that I'll follow and I'll be close with for the rest of my life. It showed me that there's such a camaraderie here at Mesa and what I'm going to miss the most is probably that. Walking down the hallway, seeing the baseball players, seeing football players and seeing people that I know I've had class with that, who are doing what they have to do on their, on their sport too and it'd be in the stands watching me and I'm going to miss that a bunch. I'm going to miss the faculty here. I'm going to miss Pife. It's been a huge impact on my life to have such a coach who's so invested in me and and has worked so hard to push me and give me the benefit of the doubt all the time and has really invested his time in me. Man, it's made me who I am. Uh, I would not be Jason Burr without wrestling. That's just the way it is. And, but wrestling doesn't define me, but it is a big part of my life. I feel like if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't be an athlete, even in high school or especially here at the college level, I would not have impacted so many people that I feel like I have throughout the community and my little brothers and other teammates who have come and gone out of Mesa. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I'm just super grateful for this opportunity and go Mavs.